As many of you know, the OM-1 is my favorite camera to do insect photography. But it is pretty expensive. This camera alone is more than $2,000. And if you want a complete kit based around this camera, you're looking at $3,000 or more. And you don't want to spend that kind of money just to do macro photography unless you are really, really into macro photography like I am. So I asked myself, what if I had a budget of 1000 US dollars and I had to buy a complete macro photography kit for insects? What would I buy with that money? How would I maximize the value of $1,000. And in this video I'm gonna explain what parts I would buy and how I would buy these parts. First of all, the camera. The reason I love the OM-1 so much is the automated focus bracketing. You can focus bracket insects live in the field in sync with a flash very fast and that is the true power of this camera and the main reason I love it so much. Without this feature I wouldn't be that interested in Olympus for macro photography, but this feature is a game changer. And actually there are several older models of this camera that has this focus bracketing feature. So you don't need to buy this camera to get that. And look at this list, this is from Olympus official homepage. And here are all the models that support focus bracketing. And the model I am going to recommend to you is the EM-1 Mark II. And I actually don't have any personal experience with this camera, I didn't use it myself, but I go on the recommendations from other pro macro photographers, such as Ben Salb, who recommended this to me in a comment on my YouTube channel, and also Stuart Wood, another fellow macro photography YouTuber, he uses this camera. And if you look at the photos they have taken with this camera, they are amazing. And I don't think anyone would notice the difference in these photos and photos taken with this camera. So I think the main difference between the OM-1 and the older models is that the OM-1 can use a shutter speed of one hundredth of a second when bracketing. The older models usually can do 120th or 150th of a second. 120th is maybe a little bit too slow, but 150th should not be a problem at all. If you're using a flash, that should be enough uh, when focus bracketing. And I know that the EM-1 Mark II uh, has a maximum shutter speed of 150th when focus bracketing. And I would recommend you to buy this camera used. Usually you can get really good deals if you buy used cameras and lenses and usually they are in much better condition than you would expect. A lot of people buy camera gear, try it a few times and then just realize that photography isn't for them. And that is why it's so great to buy used stuff. I went on MPB, uh, a site where you can buy used cameras, and I found one for 470 euros, which is 515 US dollars right now. And if you look closely at classified sites, you can probably find this camera even cheaper. So what about lens? I would recommend you to buy this lens. This is the Olympus M Zuiko, or how however you pronounce that, 60 mm macro lens. And this is extremely good macro lens, one of the best macro lenses I've ever used. And it's very small and compact as well, as you can see here. Uh, that is why it is one of the favorite macro lenses I have ever owned. It's great value for money as well. I think it's around $400 new, but if we go on MPB and look for a used one, we see that we can get them for 270 euros, which is around 300 US dollars. And you really can't go wrong with this lens. Except in one situation, and that is if you're photographing very, very tiny insects, because this lens only goes to one time magnification. And in some cases, when you have very, very small insects, you want more magnification. And there is a really good and simple solution to that, and that is to buy the Raynox DCR250, which is basically just a hello, hello, a magnifying glass that you put in front of the lens. This comes in at around $70, and this one I, I can recommend you to buy new because I think it's a bit hard to find used and it's so cheap. $70. You also need to buy a step down ring to fit it easily 
on your Olympus 60mm and then you should get a 46 to 43mm step down ring and these are usually very cheap and uh, then you screw on the step down ring like this and then you screw on the Raynox DCR 250 and it fits very nicely, it looks good and the whole thing is still really really compact and with this combination, this lens and the Raynox, you get 1.65 times magnification. And the autofocus and everything, the bracketing, everything works, even you, though you have the Raynox filter on it. And 1.65 times magnification is really enough for any kind of macro photography, I would say, at least if, you, if it is insects you're photographing. You get very, very close and you don't need to crop much even for the smallest insects. So that's it for uh, lens and camera, but as I always say, for great macro photography of insects you need four items. Camera, lens, flash and diffuser. So let's talk about flash and diffuser. When it comes to a flash for the Olympus system that can do fast focus stacking uh, without any longer breaks, uh, there is really only one flash that I can recommend and that is, as you might know, the V350 from Godox. This is an incredibly powerful and fast flash that can handle extensive focus bracketing. It can take more than a thousand photos on one battery and it's, it's really, really great. And this flash comes in at around, I think, $160 new, but if you find it used, you should be able to find it for around $100, I think. And that is what I would buy. I would buy this flash used. And if you can't find it used, yeah, then you will have to add a little bit of money uh, to get it new. And that is also great value for money. Okay, so now we are almost out of money. So we have to find a really cheap way to make a diffuser. So that is what I recommend to you. Make your own diffuser. And the best way to make your own diffuser that is simple for anyone, even if you're not that great at uh, crafting stuff, <laughs> is uh, the Pringles uh, diffuser. You buy a Pringles tube, it's like $4 or something, and uh, you find something white and translucent to put uh, at the front. Uh, in this case it's a piece of white plastic, you can also use like uh, toilet paper or whatever. Uh, as long as the light shines through it and it kind of softens the light and then you simply attach the flash on your camera and you attach the Pringles diffuser. Actually this one isn't really a good fit for this combination I see now because uh, the, the light source is not close enough to the subject. Uh, with this camera the subject would be around here so ideally the Pringles tube should have been longer. It should have been like ending around here going all the way from the flash to around here so that you get the light source as close as possible to the subject. That would be uh, a great setup, I think. That is what I would do with this camera and flash. Uh, the reason this diffuser is so short is that I used it for another flash and camera combination. Anyway, the Pringles diffuser is very cheap, but it can still give you great results. Look at this photo, for example. I took it with a Pringles diffuser, and to me, this lighting is pretty much perfect. So there you have it, a complete macro photography kit for insects that will deliver world-class photographs. Uh, at least if you are a world-class photographer. <laughs> if you like macro photography, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon again.